What's up, everybody? How are you doing this weekend? Hope you're having a good weekend. Thought I'd just pop on and do a little Minecraft today. Um, I haven't got much going on this weekend. And I'm feeling pretty fine. So, uh, one thing I did do while we were uh, offline was uh, I hung out over in the uh, over in the house area to oxidize all of this copper and it took an extremely long time but it's fully oxidized now and I think it looks pretty cool so I think what we might end up doing today is a little bit of more farming a little bit more a uh, little bit more building perhaps what's up Riv? Riv is in the house Riv says Has fun, have fun with the stream thank you Riv appreciate you. I'm sure it will be fun. I think it'll just be a short one today. Since we did quite a long one this week already. And uh, we're just gonna chill and see how we feel for a few hours. But yeah. One second guys. Sorry about that, we'll be back, we good. But yeah, we're just gonna have a little fun chill stream. Just a short one. Get a little bit of shit done. And then uh, go enjoy the rest of the weekend. Probably not gonna get that many viewers since I think it's the football right now. <laughs> so, we'll see, we'll see. We're just gonna basically collect all of our oxidized copper. Um, punch out all of the wheat. Maybe go trade it up. Maybe go see what's up over in the village. Uh, village. <laughs> the village of village. <laughs> yeah, for now we just chilling. My VOD last time got muted again a little bit of it. I didn't figure out where though because it was a bloody six hour video so I couldn't really just watch the whole thing and figure out when it was. Which is annoying. Whatever. It kind of sucks when your VODs get muted. Because it means if you ever wanted to save them and upload them to YouTube or something, you'd have to go and find the bit that was muted and like edit it out. Seems like effort, man. I do have most of them saved. <laughs> and I have thought about putting like a YouTube, vid uh, a YouTube channel up with the, uh, the VODs on it. Just so I don't just so I have them, you know, and I don't have to keep them on my computer or my hard drive. I'd really like to build a, uh, I'd really like to build an automatic sugarcane farm. It would be nice. could build a little automatic wheat farm but it would have to be a, an AFK farm because you can do it with a, a villager like a farmer villager and you just have minecart, hop a minecart underneath to collect all of the stuff but you have to be there to like render in the villager so he actually does the wheat you know Almost stomped on my own farm. That would be pretty sad. We might as well take all of the wheat that we can and plant it back because we have so many trades to make with these villagers and I'm concerned that we don't have enough resources to kind of build up the the situation that we want to be building up you know which would be basically diamond enchanted tool trades but I know they cost a lot and I need to also farm up the cows because like leather for books for trades and stuff 
like certain clerics gonna have certain trades and they're gonna want books and emeralds for them for the enchanted books. I'm gonna try and get the um, the toolsmiths and the armor smiths and the weapon smiths with some really good trades so that I don't have to kind of do too much combining and enchanting at the end of the day but you know we're gonna get what we get. We'll still need levels to combine gear, I think. I have turned up the tick speed ever so slightly on this world because it was taking an extremely long time to grow anything, and uh, I've decided to turn it up slightly. But I may turn it down slightly. I think I put it on 20 or so, which may be slightly high. If it's too, if it feels too much, I can turn it back down. Uh, but the default growth speed was really too, too fucking slow for me to handle. Like last stream, I think. It took us like six hours, yeah, and we barely got any emeralds, barely got any trades, so I turned it up a little. Plus, waiting for that copper, it was literally going to take nine years <laughs> to oxidize, and I don't have nine years to wait for copper. <laughs> okay. We can build some stuff today. Why don't we do that for a bit? Because I don't really feel like farming stuff. Uh, immediately. We can do a bit of farming later on. As for right now, I wouldn't mind getting some of the upstairs actually built, so let's see what kind of blocks do we want to use. I know I'd like to use deep slate, and I think I want to use this kind of deep slate. So let's take this up. Have a look at the outside for a quick little second. I think I'll do deep slate pillars on these blocks. Maybe five high. Oh, this is remem uh, reminding me of like the first little Minecraft stream that we did when we were building the downstairs. And I do want this build to look sort of higgle 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 Can I speak today, please? Higgledy piggledy. <laughs> I want the blocks to be different on every layer. So downstairs we used a lot of wood, and on this floor we're using a lot of deep slate. I kind of want it to symbolise our progression um, throughout the playthrough. So every layer will kind of represent a different era. So this would be our uh, copper and deep slate caving era represented on this floor and uh, whatever comes next will be on the next floor whatever new blocks we run into that we think we might want to build with I just think it's a fun little idea gotta make sure that I uh, in fact Spooky sent me a, a new little video uh, for background music, so let's try that today. Did I do that one too tall? I did. We might have to go and find some deep slate. Unless I can make it work. Uh, 
I mean, for all intents and purposes, it works, but we might need a little bit more um, just to kind of finish off the vibe. I think that we will. So, ooh, look at that. Dang. Damn, look at the lightning striking the lightning rod. Wow, so cool. Well, it protects the house, at least. These were a good invention. Might have to eat some of the villagers' bread, because I'm running out of food myself. Let's try a little bit of copper and see how we feel once that's laid out. I was thinking something along these lines. Though again, we might have to go and find <laughs> some more copper. Unless we've got some in the ore's chest. Is, uh, I think it's nine ingots to one uh, full block. And again, whatever else we place, like copper wise, that isn't already oxidized, we're gonna have to oxidize it. Um, I wonder if I can cut these into smaller blocks, like, or if it's just a one for one. Oh, we can do oxidized cut copper, although I really do like. I really do like the look of the full blocks. I think they have quite a nice feature with the the little nails in them. The little bolts. Hello, sir. I have a brand new sword. You should be very afraid of me. <laughs> Let's just carry on placing this around until we run out. Oh, we have some here. That's good. Well, these ones, uh, they'll just have to oxidize. That's okay. I'm sure it'll happen eventually. And then, how do we do copper four blocks? We can make six. That's not going to be enough. We. Hmm. Well, we might have to um, sacrifice this, uh, or we go out looking for more. I think we're going to have to go out and look for some more copper. That's okay. I'll take the uh, I'll take the wheat over to the villages on the way. And we can trade it up. It's all good, we could get some more deep slate while we're out there because we needed that anyway. And luckily we can pick them up from pretty much the same cave system. Just out past the village, so... Uh, this might be a little bit fast, the tick speed, you know. I feel like that's a bit much. I'll just change it then. Let's put it to like, 10. And again, I was just, I've just been experimenting with the tick speed in survival because uh, I feel like the generic tick speed that it gives you when you load a world is way too slow. Way too slow. So I set it to, I think, 25, but yeah, that did seem a little bit fast on that wheat there. Don't want it to feel too crazy in this world. So we do want it to be survival. Don't want to spawn anything in or make anything feel like it's cheating. It's just that I do think that the wheat it's too fucking slow. So I need to find a good a good tick speed for that. Right, let's trade up this wheat and then we can go in the cave and find some copper and some deep slate. Alright. Uh, 
I do need to finish building them a shelter, like a proper shelter, because they really are very safe where they are right now. We could even breed a couple more of them up, actually. Yeah, let's do that. And we could even trade with these guys. Uh, that one give. Okay, that one gives a sword. That one also gives a sword. Pickaxes. And pickaxes. Right, the tool smiths. I forget which one drops the pickaxe. Let me just Google it. Villager traits. Okay, the one that gives the pickaxe is the tool smith. So let's um let's give them our emeralds for now. Which one's the highest level? That one. Okay. Let's buy some more spears and immediately throw them into uh, the river where they belong. Should really make a bin at some point, like a little lava pool, so I can just throw stuff like this in instead of just throwing it to the spawn. Okay, now let's get ourselves down into the caves. Let's check on the iron farm spawns real quick, I guess. See how much has been made. Hella iron. Woo! Hella iron! It's more than I'll probably ever need already, to be honest. We could start, uh, we could make an iron level on our house. Decorate it with all kinds of irony blocks like chains and lanterns and such. But yeah, the base level is definitely going to be very much like torch and oak, cobblestone, and all that kind of vibe on the inside, and then. As you go up, hopefully it will get more and more fancy the higher up that you go. Right, we can get to that. If we play our cards right, we can get to that. Right, sick. You know, I thought we had quite a lot of copper, more than we could need, and I was wrong, because we still ran out. I kind of miss having Elytra. I have Elytra on the other server that I've been playing on, and I miss it. Maybe we didn't pick up all the copper in this cave yet, or maybe we did, I don't know. I have to go for a little look. Yeah. I know there'll be some downstairs, but I also know that it spawns more on uh, the higher levels, just like iron. There was a diamond downstairs, but it was dangerous to get to, like down where the deep slate is, where we've been farming the deep slate. Yeah, there was a diamond down there, but um, I've had to run. Excuse me. I've had to run both times that I've been down there because of the mob spawns. Crazy rates down there. Okay, let's have a little look down here. Copper. I am looking for copper. I might have been down here already. We don't need iron. And that's water. Okay. Yeah, I guess we must have been down here and picked it clean already. Perhaps we will have to go down to the. Uh, perhaps we will have to go down to where the deep slate is. Then. Yeah, that looks uh, pretty much looted and booted.
maybe if we dig through a couple of veins we'll be able to find some. Yeah. I hear Skelly. Having a nice sword makes a huge difference though. Uh, I know I'm a little bit lost. There is some copper here though. I suppose if the worst comes to, you can always just dig up to the surface, can't you? We'll find our way back, I'm sure. But I am completely lost, I'm not gonna lie, so. Oh, I left a piece. Scared me. Hello. Oh, we found our way out. Good stuff. There's a slime. I don't know if we've got any slime in this world yet. So one of these must be a slime chunk then, nearby. That's good. We need them for some random crafts, like sticky pistons. Basically it really. So if you want to do some redstoning, which we might later. I'm not such a huge fan of redstone. Um, I think it's cool, I'm not very good at it though. So I always have to watch tutorials really. Okay, we don't need iron. We could have a look through the coal veins because it's never a bad thing to bring coal home. We are looking for copper. Oh, here's some. There's quite a few pieces up here. I guess we never made it into this corner here. Huh? Um, that's probably a good thing. Because now, now there's copper here for us to take. Which is great. I'm not sure how many bits we need. Because I'm not very good at maths. So we'll just spend a little while farming down here. For them. Oh, Nymph Chrysalis, otherwise known as Butterfly, is here. Hello, Butterfly. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Was it going to tell by the way my voice kind of trailed off? I'm not entirely sure if it is Saturday. I think it is. <laughs> having a good weekend, let's say. Just doing a little bit of Minecrafting. <laughs> I wasn't going to stream again this week, but then. I had a little free time and I wasn't feeling too bad, so I thought, why not? I'll do a little extra stream. So we're just gonna chill. I'm doing fine, thank you very much. Glad to hear you're doing well and having a good weekend too. Yeah, it's been a little quiet around here this weekend. But sometimes, sometimes that's quite nice. A little quiet time. Oh! Oh, we broke the legs, but you know what, it's okay. Alright, we have some copper. We have quite a bit of copper, that probably should be enough, I think. Just to finish off that little bit. Um, so let's grab some more deep slate from here. This is where we've been farming it. For the past while, butterfly, so it's quiet as good sometimes. It is, I was supposed to paint today, um, and I didn't. So there's that. Maybe I'll do some tomorrow. I got all the stuff out, I just di didn't feel it, you know? And I think, well I'm supposed to be painting some Christmas presents for certain folks. 
And uh, I don't want to do it unless I'm in the mood. I want them to have good vibes. I want them to be good and if I don't do them in a good state of mind they'll just come out bad. Art's oh, one of those things where if I'm in a bad mood it kind of shows because I rush stuff and I'm like, Bleh. don't end up doing it properly. Um, right, let's have a look at the deep slate situation. We could do with maybe a stack and a bit, or or a, well, we could do with more than that. But um, the old pickaxe is getting a bit low, so we might have to just settle for whatever we can get with this pickaxe. To be honest. I hope the lava that I can hear is the lava that's like going down the cliffside that we just came from and not some random pool. Yeah, I hope it's this. Lava is so trippy to watch because it's so slow. Like you want to touch it, but oh, you shouldn't touch the lava, but you want to, oh, but you shouldn't. Oh, well hello there Mr. Diamond, wonder if you're a lone wolf or if- ah yes, he's brought friends. How many friends is the question, how many diamonds do we get out of this? I wasn't even trying to find diamonds. I'll have to make a pickaxe and come back for that. Let's do that quickly, shall we? It's pretty lucky. Wasn't even looking for diamonds, was trying to just get some deep slate and chill but you know. We'll take it. Let's go make a pickaxe uh, real quick at the iron farm. We can come back down and grab those. Could probably do a sleeping as well. Just to uh, minimise the spawn rates around here. Bread in the water. I'm sure it's not going soggy at all. Hello Mr Chicken. He's still trying to burn your ass on that candle. I don't think he's ever going to move. <laughs> he was in the last episode doing the same thing. Make a little uh, pickaxe real quick. <laughs> Butterfly says he was letting his impulsive thoughts win. He sure as shit was. Hello! That chicken is just honestly a vibe. He's been there for quite a while at this point. We could probably rescue him, but I think it's quite funny to leave him there and see how long he lasts. Oh, he's made his way up there. Damn, he adventuring. Right, let's... I think it was about here. Somewhere. Ah, sheesh, I lost it. It's up there. Was it further up? Back. I've lost it. Or was it further down, perhaps? Maybe it was down. Yeah, it's here. Okay, chill. We found it. Alright, let's see how many diamonds there are here. I reckon he's got any mates. Streamer loot. Just one more. So we can make our own pickaxe. Yes! We can make a big axe! Woohoo! We can make another big axe! We can get lava! We can get obsidian! Woo! Can't enchant it, but I can, uh... <laughs> it, it will break obsidian. Which is the most important thing, so we can get another portal. Hmm. 
Might as well dig around this one as well, just to make sure there's nothing hiding. Yep. Oh, there's a bit of lapis here. That's cool. I don't think we've found any of that yet. Or maybe we have. I mean, we're trying to go for a full uh, villager run with no enchanting table. No mining. This does not count as mining because I'm not looking. I'm not in a mine. Do you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm here, I'm chilling, getting geek slate, I'm not sure I'm mine for anything. Like, if I was to make a mine, I'd always make a strip mine. But yeah, I'll, I'll hang on to the lapis. But for now, we might as well go, we can make a little nether portal perhaps. We can smelt up the uh, copper, go and grab some obsidian, make a little portal. <laughs> Butterfly says slay! <laughs> Slaying with the nether portal, slay with the diamond, slay. Okay, well that doesn't want to mine up, that's fine too, I guess. Be that way, you little gold piece of gold ore. Could have done great things, you and I, Mr. Gold Ore. Alright, alright, alright. We can uh, pop this copper in a uh, furnace. Or two, or three. Look at him go! He's escaping! Nobody escapes the cave. Not even you, Mr. Chicken. Oh shit, there's some. I forgot to sleep. <laughs> he ran off scared. Oh. I know this is an iron farm and we need zombies, but this is overkill, man. We only need one. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's a creeper. We'll just build a little uh, pillar to line of sight pin. We could grab some gunpowder. Like this up. Oh! Oh! You fucked me up! Where's he gone? That stupid little zombie villager baby f fucking screwed me up, bro. You all saw it. I was gonna have that creeper's ass. And that baby zombie pushed me, pushed me out of the way so I couldn't line him sight him. So annoying. Right, uh... Well, hopefully we can cover this up with 20 blocks of dirt. Probably not, huh? Oh, we have just enough. Okay, interesting. Let's light up this little courtyard again. We can build out here. We can probably build a little farm. Maybe sugarcane farm. Or something else. We can definitely use this space. And then it says you're not killing him. Yeah, I know. I didn't kill him fast enough. The bastard's brown. Uh, the bastard. What happens is if you line of sight a creeper, you can hit them and then hide, hit them and hide. And what the hiding does is it resets their um, the timer on their blowing up, right? Because they blow up when they see you. If they can't see you, they kind of chill and stop. But what happened was I was hiding and then the baby zombie pushed me out of the way so I didn't manage to line of sight the creeper in time. So he blew up. Bastard. We had a little copper in here already. Well, dang. All right, let's go. Uh, do I have any wheat in here? No, I think I traded it all up. Okay. We can run back to the house, smelt up the copper. And do a little bit more building with the deep slate. Meanwhile, while it smelts. You know something I've never had in Minecraft is a super smelter. Maybe I'll make one one of these days. I think <clears throat> priority after the iron farm will probably be gathering resources for like creeper farm. 
because later on that'll be really useful with all the gunpowder. We only have two. Oh no, there's more in the house. That's right, we moved them inside from here. I think this build is going to end up looking pretty interesting when it's done. With all the different layers going all ham in every different block. I'm going to try and have like t like turrets coming off of it and stuff and random little bits like hanging off the side and everything. It should be kind of interesting. Alright. There are... We can put the lapis in here. Yeah, we did. We already had like half a stack. That's interesting. Didn't realise that. Okay. One in there, one in there, and one in there. And we can take that, put that in there, and... Oop, and a boop. Okay, that should work. And then we can cut this. Let's cut like half a stack. We can make some stair blocks, we can make some slab blocks, and let's just go upstairs and play with them a little bit. Um, I think uh, maybe we could make just a couple of these. Like that one, maybe. Maybe a couple of walls just to play with as well. Let's go upstairs and have a go with this because I'm quite intrigued to see what can we make with these with the fronts. Well, the front there isn't done. Maybe we can just practice on the back there. Um, let's grab that for pillaring up. Alright, let's experiment here. Oh, we could even have some going on the top as well. Okay. Maybe some walls instead. Nope, that completely covers it up. I think with this game a lot of it is just kind of experimenting and see what you can come up with. I think that still covers it up too much. What do we want to do for windows as well? Or do we not want to have them really?
perhaps if we do these edges copper but that's going to be extremely extremely expensive we need to farm a lot of copper if we were going to do that <laughs> nico says nice ass talk about this ass right here nico because if so i agree how are you doing nico good to see you i hope you're doing well hope you're having a good weekend I think that might be the uh, the solution though. Expensive as that will be. Um, okay, we're gonna need a lot more copper then. I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to go farming copper. Let's see how much we can make right now. Just nine? Oh, yeah, we're gonna need to go farming. Like a real copper farm. A copper farm? Now there's a thought. The alternative is uh, grab obsidian, go to nether, try and see if there's a crimson forest? to work in with the copper because the copper is pretty much the same color as the crimson forest Nico asks what are we doing we are building playing some minecraft and doing some building so we are trying to like get this second floor here built so we're just trying to decide what resources to to go for with that and essentially I'm thinking it's probably best to hop into the nether and have a look and see if I can find some warped wood because uh, yeah this shit ain't it. This shit costs too much and takes too long so having this base layer out of copper will be nice but I think I need some other blocks to kind of mix with it that isn't copper essentially. So let's dump this stuff in the valuables chest and we'll need to make yeah, we'll need to make another axe. So I think I'm going to hop into the nether in a second here. Got any sticks in here? Oh, I need to make my uh, diamond pickaxe as well. There we go. Feels good. Alright, let's go find that lava. Nico says you enjoy the new WoW expansion. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I think they don't really... I mean, they seem to do this every time now. Where they don't really bring the Mythic Plus out and everything at the start. So there's limited things to actually do. Unless you enjoy questing which I don't. I guess I could level alts, but I don't really care to play any alts right now. Because the new class, the Evoker, is so much fun. I don't care to play anything else. Um, so yeah, it's it's good fun though. I mean, it's a good, it seems... It's always th like that at the beginning though, right? You have your honeymoon phase, don't you, with these sorts of things, and then eventually reality sets in and that's kind of when you see how it actually is as an expansion like a month in two months in so i would say like initial review is good but it could go either way you know they could revert back to their old bullshit or they could make it really fun it seems like it's gonna be good though Right. No, 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 you're going in the hole. I don't care what you have to say, Mr. Horse. Okay. 
yeah, you stay there and I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I just really quickly need to mine this obsidian, don't worry, it only takes a second. It only takes a second, Mr. Horse, don't worry. It's really quick, really quick. Really quick to mine. It's really really fast block to mine as you can see, Mr. Horse, so you'll be you you'll only be waiting there for like a second. <gasps> oh, 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 not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. What the help? Oh that was panicky. Okay. Uh good to know. Good comms, good comms, good comms. <laughs> this is why you bring a bucket of water with you if you're in Minecraft survival. I should probably eat too. I probably should sleep too, uh, but I'm not going to because uh, I like to live life on the edge. And we need a fair bit of obsidian. So we're going to be here for a hot minute. Have you tried the new WoW expansion, Nico? Or Sir! No one asked him around here. No one asked him what he thought. Okay. Okay. Nico says, if anything, I'll play Endwalker sometime. Yeah, Endwalker's good. I am, like, increasingly becoming pissed off with Final Fantasy, though. I think I'm going to, um... I think I'm going to just empty out my house and let it go at this point. To be honest, which makes me really sad, but, like, I don't use it anymore. And even though it cost me like 20 million and so much so much time and so much more gold on like furnishings and all the rest I just it makes me sick how much it costs every month and I don't even play it half the time like I had six months away from it I went back for like a few months when they brought a patch out and now I'm away from it again still paying for it and I'm like it money is hard to come by <laughs> so I just don't I might just you know have to let that one go uh, no worries, Nico. Enjoy your daily. Oh, Spooky is here. Hi, Spooky. No worries. I hope you're feeling alright. I know that you're feeling a little bit under the weather. So I hope that you're getting some rest and I hope that you feel better soon. Glad that you're here, though. We're glad to have you, Spooky. Thanks for coming over. Spooky says I have a bit of a sore throat and I can't really yell. It does suck. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that. We um found some diamonds, as you can see. Found three diamonds. So uh just uh getting some obsidian, gonna pop to the uh, the nether and grab some warped wood, I think. Now I'm not exactly sure where to build the portal. Uh, portals can be a bit of a oh, uh, portals can be a bit of a pain. I don't really want to die right now. Uh, portals can be a bit of a pain sometimes. Uh, the spawn, depending on the spawn, it can be quite horrible or, or reasonable. Now where was that little thing that I put the horse in? It was around here somewhere. Here it is. Can he jump two blocks? Oh shit, yeah he can. Alright, run Mr. Horse, run! Yeah, I'm sorry that you're feeling unwell, Spooky. I hope that you feel better soon. Sending you all the heals. Maybe we put the portal... 
around here somewhere. It would be nice to have it at the base. I feel like we're migrating towards the villager area a bit too much and I'd like to bring some of the functionality of our playthrough back to the base area. So uh, for a nether portal, one doesn't really want to be out in the open because depending on what's on the other side they can just walk through. So I'm going to spawn proof it a little bit. Spooky says glad you're using the music I use, it's nice. Yeah, I, I really appreciate you sending me that. I was getting a little bit bored of all, all the music that I'd been playing on streams. It would always just be the same. I, I've made a little playlist but it's not that long so it ends up repeating a lot. I was getting really tired of it so thank you for that. While I work on expanding that one, um, we can use this one, which is great. Or, you know, there's always Minecraft music, Deltarune music, that type of thing. Uh, but we do a lot of that, so... Okay, uh, let's grab some walls, let's grab some gates, just to make sure that it's safe. We can also make the flint and steel, so a couple of walls. Um, there should be a couple of gates hanging around here somewhere. No, there aren't. That's okay, we can make some. Ugh, we need some more sticks. There we go. And then there should be some flint in here. Yes. And we combine it, I think, just like this. Yes. Oh, I could do with some gold, like. Oh. <laughs> okay. I guess not. I was gonna say I could do with some gold to wear in case of the pigs and stuff. But we're just gonna have to be careful. We'll just have to be super careful. Okay. Um. We can do these for the corners. Oh, we should probably deal with them. Huh. Excuse you! So fucking rude, mate. Right. If butterfly is still here, this is what I meant before with the line of sight. So like, he's about to blow up, but you just line of sight them. And then they won't. It resets. Just like that. Um, I might sleep though, just so that we can uh, limit the spawns out here. It's not really that great to be trying to do stuff and trying not to die at the same time. <laughs> it makes things a little bit difficult. So yeah, we'll just have a little sleep and then get back out there and finish this portal. So we can do, oops, not like that. Let's change this one then, because it's a little easier than changing obsidian. I half wondered if his um, him being on fire might actually light the portal. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny. Cool stuff. Alright, we're ready to light this shit up. Let's fucking go. I'll go through in a second there. Just going to um safetyfy this place a little bit. Ah oh, shit, I need more of those. Let's just make some more walls real quick. Spooky says to the nether we go. Oh, you know where we're going. Oh, that's right, we're going to the nether. Alright. I kind of love this with the shaders, by the way. Oh, with the ray tracing. Oh, making everything all purple. Oh, it looks so nice. Alright, let's go in. Hopefully, it's not too cursed, guys. Hopefully, it's not too cursed. 
Here we are. Okay, 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 okay. How cursed are we? There's a crimson forest right here, right here. That's extremely lucky. That's extremely lucky. There's a pig over there. He's seen me. There's pigs everywhere. If I could just pinch a bit of gold. Oh, it fell. They're going to be so mad if they see me doing this shit. Are you angry? You angry? You angry? Are you mad? What if I push you off? Will you be mad if I push you into the lava? Did his friends see? No. Oh, it fucking fell all the way. Please! Oh. Please! Oh, no, it's all falling. It's all falling. Maybe I can just get these bits then, at least. So unlucky. I need some I need some gold drips of pigs will think I'm cool and then they won't attack me. Although they haven't really attacked me. I think they only attack you if they see you digging the gold, maybe. I don't want to take my chances though. This is a bit of a cursed spawn. I mean we're right in the middle of a fucking floating bloody platform here. I do want to get over there. So let's try I haven't, I haven't really got any blocks. Uh, oh yeah, I do. I've got these. Okay, we could try getting across here. If these pigs start hitting me though, I'm done for. And we'll lose all of our sheesh. Um, which is a scary prospect. Please lord no ghasts. Please lord no ghasts. Please. I'm going to need to silence that pig. Actually, I could probably just pinch this while his back is turned. And then if we run around here, we can probably dig across here. Because I just want to get across to the, the, the warped bit. It's lucky there was a, a, a warped uh, forest right here, to be honest. Because there isn't always. Oh, we got to be careful of the Andy boys. I'll come for you. Oh lord, they're coming. Oh yeah, we need some of this. Let's get some nether quartz while we're here. Or warts, sorry. We should be able to find our way back out relatively easily. I mean, it's not that much of a stretch, as long as we don't get too lost. <gasps> Ooh! I almost fell down there. That's what we don't want. That'll do. Ooh, yep, we just need to be a bit careful. We'll be alright though. Oh! He mad. Oh, don't look at the Enderman. Don't look at the Enderman. Please don't have any friends. Please don't have any friends. Okay, we just need to pinch a little bit of wood and we can leave. He was really angry, dude. Scared. I don't have a hoe for this stuff, so we're just gonna have to mine it out by hand. But this stuff could look cool. Um, 
And the, the wood here could look really cool. This excursion is pretty scary though, I'm quite scared right now. That's why I'm scared. We can get quite a lot of resources to build with from here. I wonder if there's a bastion nearby because those piglins are spawning kind of like crazy. But that's why we build the the portal shield thing on the other uh, on the other side because otherwise those kind of mobs will pop in all the time. And we don't want them sneaking up on us. So that's why we built uh, a fence on the other side. Now we don't have silk touch so we can't pick up this nylium, which is this stuff here, as opposed to netherrack which is this stuff here. Um, I think we can take those. Oh we're full, so let's take them. And we want these shroom lights for sure. We'll just gather a little bit, and then once we have enough, we can leave. I don't really want to die with all this neat loot that we have right now. But this could be a, a good, like, other um, blocks to build with on the next level as well. All of these kind of nether blocks that we've just unlocked. I say unlocked. Um, discovered, I suppose, would be the way to say it. This crimson forest feels pretty small. Oh, it goes back there too. Don't want to get too lost here. So I'll just pinch a bit more of this wood and then we'll head back. And uh, I think I'll probably stream for about another hour or so. We're not going too crazy today, we're just having a little short little chill stream. And we'll see how we get on. Let's take some of these shroom lights because they really are cool. I forget how you grow these. Crimson... I think you take the nylium and bone meal it until you get um, the fungus and then you bone meal the fungus and it grows into a tree. I think that's how these are farmed. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, I think I might be a little bit lost. Did we come from this way? I think we did. make our way back out I think we have enough stuff just to build a little bit I don't need a great deal right now we just need a little bit just to build with so let's run they sound mad they sound mad they sound mad I'm running we're leaving we're leaving we're leaving goodbye 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 we can come back when we've smelted the gold did we get something we got a little bit of gold Ah, it might not be enough though. <gasps> Woo! I almost fell down there. Okay, uh, let's be careful. And uh, slowly make our way back. Up and around. Are you mad? No, you're not mad. Why was the other guy mad? He'll be mad now. I kind of want that ceiling gold going up for it. The way that I'm going to try and get that is build a little platform underneath it, like so. Ooh. We could get some glowstone as well, let's do it. We'll just build a safety platform underneath it, not like that. Okay, epic. 
Thing is, if we get gold, the pigs will definitely leave us alone then. So I want to try and get some gold. Now this stuff breaks, in, uh, breaks into the glowstone dust. But you can make glowstone with glowstone dust, so that's fine. We'll just farm it, and then let's pinch this gold. Is there some more up here or am I imagining things? I guess I must have been imagining. Oh, well, the Crimson Forest is kind of on two levels. Cool. Yeah, the updates that they did to the Nether are really dope, to be fair. They really did some cool stuff with it. I think they could have gone further, and I still think they can go further, um, but I like what they did. Definitely like what they did. Yeah, I wonder if there's a bastion nearby or perhaps a fortress. We can always come back here and go exploring. In fact, I could just. Video settings. Uh, up there. There is a mist setting. Aurora Borealis. That's cool. Um, video settings, shaders, shader options, performance, atmosphere, fog off. Let's try it with the fog off. See if it makes a difference. That's what we can actually see out here. So let it load in. Not sure if it made a massive difference, you know. Looks like there's some more crimson forest over that way. More basalt in the middle. What is that? Oh, that's magma cube. I'm not seeing a bastion unless I do see quite a lot of this. Um, what's it called? The blackstone, which is rather nice block. I think the pigs are going to get upset if we mine this out. Because I think this could be cool to work in as well. That build. Oh! No! It's all burning! Oh well. Maybe if we fill in the lava then we can farm it a little bit easier. That makes things a little bit easier, doesn't it, guys? Don't know why I didn't think of that before. Oh, is it not going in my pockets either? <laughs> Gosh, dang it. When you try your best. Oh! So much lava all over the place here. Makes me afraid and petrified. If I find a block I like, I'll just farm a little bit of it so that I can build it later. So it's always nice to have a variety of blocks. This is the main thing that I care to do in Minecraft, is build. Oh no, please don't hit me, Mr. Ghast. I'm not really in the mood for these kind of shenanigans right now. The kind of sh screaming fire shenanigans that you're about to ensue. I'm leaving, because you know what? Ghasts mean trouble every dang time. Um, I would love to move this portal, but it's not really an option, so we might have to uh, build around it instead. Um, so we could just. Okay. Walls.
Don't hurt me, Mr. Pig. I can hear you behind me. I'm nice, I promise. Don't hurt me. Do with a couple more of the uh, oops. of the fen uh, the uh, the walls, so we can just go back through and make some more walls, so that we can finish this off. And then uh, no nasties can come either way because mobs. <coughs> excuse me, hiccuping. Mobs can't jump over this. Or this, and they can't do this. So yeah, that's a pretty safe way to fence in a nether portal. Though you will sometimes get random mobs like here, because I think they can still spawn in these areas. Yeah. So he can wander through, but it wasn't entirely closed off anyway. Once it's closed off, we should get less of that. Um, but that's why we, that's why we close it off. Oh, we got a gold sword. I don't know really what to do with it. I, I wonder if you can disenchant it later into just gold. Perhaps you can. Um, right, let's see about these nuggets. Let's see if we can make ingots with them. Okay, yeah, we can. We can make a little hat, so... Or some little boots. Should we make boots or hat? Let's make hat, because our hat's almost dead anyway. And that can be our nether hat. With this, we can make some planks. We can use this, and we can use this in our build. Now, I think... I think these blocks will look very nice as a border. Like that. And it's quite a cheap resource as well. Cheaper than the copper. Let's go and have a look and see how it looks outside. We can use the. Um, where did our other deep slate bricks go? We can use these and these. We can put the rest of this stuff in storage as well. Um, I don't have a nether box, so let's just put them in here for now. All of that nethery stuff that we don't need right now. Put that on. Okay. We can go outside and have a look. Spooky says. Darn gas, I know they're annoying, aren't they? I think this could work. Let's see. Let's just have a little window in the middle. I think that'll ruin things from far away, actually. See what it looks like. Can we make buttons with deep slate? No. No, you cannot. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe you can do them with black slate? I mean, black. Black stone. Black, uh, black stone. No. I mean, these blocks look pretty cool. I don't know about the outside of this though. I don't really know how to detail it. Maybe those kinds of windows aren't the right decision then. Maybe we need to have the detail more on the external than the internal of the window. Like having them. like that sort of thing. Let's see how this looks. Wish I had flying. It's very nice to sort of fly a little distance away and just see how things look. But 
looks alright. I don't hate that. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Um, let's try and make some walls. I feel like walls could be kind of nice here. We are running out of deep slate though. <laughs> Dig down and see how that looks. So I want to completely obscure the colours of the copper, but I don't want it to be completely visible either. That looks okay. I don't hate how that looks, in fact. I think it looks pretty good. I'm not really the biggest fan of this part, so we could try... Bringing it down, maybe. Need more uh, deep slate though to make more uh, wa uh, walls. Dang it! Roll out. All out of walls. What do we do when we're all out of walls? We steal them. We steal them from the nether portal. That's what we do. I wonder if we have any glass to go in the windows. Wow, that looks weird. Is it because of this? Yeah, this that was weird. Oh, that looks really weird. Okay. Okay. Let's see how this looks now. It might look a little strange jutting out at the bottom there is my main concern, the rest should look fine. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. I'm really not sure about those colours together. The, uh, the warped and the copper. See how it looks with the corner blocks like this. Maybe a slab in the middle could. That wasn't how I thought they'd interact, to be honest. I thought we could keep the sort of corner block look. a fan of that either. What else can we do with this then? If I don't like that. We could do some lanterns. We could do 
some stair blocks. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm lucky I didn't die. That wasn't what I meant to do at all. It would be nice if I had some scaffolding to use for this building. slabbed at the top. Let's remove those then. And we can bring that out uh, uh, instead to about here. Ah, oh, will lanterns hang off that? I thought they won't, will they? will hang off this however. Okay. This is just a temporary staircase so we can get back up there. Um, lanterns. Torches and nuggets, right? So let's make some nugs. some lanterns for now. Okay, so at this point we do have access to those kinds of blocks. Might as well use them in our next layer here. So maybe just one or we could even do one two. Or we could even slab it upwards. We could kind of do a slab like. Although I don't want to finish the roof here, is the problem. We want a next layer, so let's do. We can do. Oops. Let's do this for now. Look. It can be quite difficult to know how to design this. The slabs looked alright here, didn't they? Yeah. God, look at all the mistake blocks down here. <laughs> no, 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 that looks bad, that looks bad, that looks bad, that looks okay. And when you get it, that looks okay. You you run with it. Trial and error, basically. Oh, we do have some glass. Let's use some four blocks this time. And then I guess we're just gonna carry this round the full design. Oops, oops.
we might need to gather some more glass. And I hope the rest of this copper will oxidize underneath this warped wood. If it doesn't, then I'll just have to take it out and oxidize it, or oxidize some blocks and then swap them back over. Something like that. Because we do have some fresh copper here, as you can see in these bits. And the orange does look quite nice with the blue, but still, it's not quite the right what we're going for. So. Oops. I think we're just going to leave the rest of that warped wood to become warped planks, to be honest, if you notice this. Oh come on man. Nobody saw nobody saw it. Definitely gonna need some more glass. That's okay. I think we have some sand. Yep. Let's just smelt this down. We might as well make some more lanterns as well. Do we have any more torches? Not really. Uh, coal. Torches. Lanterns are going to suit this room a lot better anyway. We do need a roof before we can put them in, however. It's funny, this resource pack, even the drop torches give a glow. It's actually pretty dark in here. Now we'll just pop them in the corners and then when we get a roof we can replace them. Right, let's uh, have a look at this glass. We might need a bit, well I say we might, we are going to need some more deep slate as well, I believe. just get these uh, this layer done I'll be quite happy really it'd be good progress for today let's see uh, on the outside how we're doing let's have a look at this one because this one was more or less finished wasn't it Yeah, I think that's going to look pretty sick, to be honest. Okay, let's sleep so this doesn't kill us. And then we can, uh, we can finish off the pattern upstairs. We'll probably need some more deep slate though, let's be honest. but. We'll do what we can. <laughs> Spooky says looking good. The house, thank you Spooky for saying that. I really appreciate it. We're trying, we're trying. We haven't really done much on the inside yet, but that's um, a problem for uh, tomorrow's Ash. <clears throat> or next week's Ash. Oh, it's that layer. My bad.
Where are my stairs? There they are. Right. I'm going one, two, and wait, won't this one need to be it as well? Oh dear, we've reached a problem. Maybe on the middle ones we're just gonna have to do more like that, and maybe we have a lantern in the. <gasps> Oops, my legs. Maybe we have a lantern more in the central position on those ones then. So if I go here and then slabs across the tops and if we oh not all the way down I almost died again that's bad um, <laughs> rip not having feather falling on any boots in fact I don't have any enchantments apart from my sword all right let's go back up One there, one there. Oh, I've done the same thing again over here. Okay. And one here. Holy shit, that's a torch. Can I get this right, please? Thank you. One there. And then we are going to go down and have a little look. So let's take this out. Spooky says, yeah, best to start healing now. Yeah. <laughs> let's see how this looks. I quite like it. I think it looks alright. I think the bottom section looks slightly... Uh, actually, you know, I think it looks good. I do think it looks good. So let's continue this around then. If we found a, a successful pattern. Although I'm not exactly sure it's going to happen in the middle here. It might get a bit hairy. Um, Let's make our way up here. Um, I don't want to be too close. Maybe we go just there instead. Alright. We had one, two, three. No, we didn't. <laughs> we did not have one, two, three, four, five. We had one, two, three. And. We go. There was one there, and there's one here for the outer edges. Same on this side, so three, one there, one there, and then for the inner ones, I guess we're just gonna do. Wait, these are on the wrong. Oh, these are on the wrong level, aren't they? We'll bring it up. Just to there. So you want to keep it uniform. We don't want to have like random ass bits that are the wrong size. Um, and then. If we do like this, although then there's another one in the middle. That oh, well, the one in the middle might end up being able to be um, another three if that doesn't look too weird. Let's try it. There's nothing else we can really do but try it. Is there? So one, two. And then one and two. 
And what we'll just quickly do is go and fill it in on the roof so that we can see exactly how it's going to look. I mean, this is just the side of the building, so it doesn't matter that much. But I still want it to look good. Spooky said, wonder how high your tower is going to be, Raz. I don't know. Quite t quite high. This is what I hate about Minecraft sometimes because of what block is meant to be there. Yeah, it can be a little annoying and finicky. Um, I find it quite soothing to figure it out though and get it looking good. It's always a good feeling when you get it looking good. That's why I tend to try and use a little bit of maths in there. So I'll always leave an even amount of blocks. Oh no, sorry, an odd amount of blocks in between. I think that looks pleasant enough actually. Looks fine. Um, okay, let's add the lanterns and see how we feel then. That will be the finishing touch of this level. So let's get up there. Right, we can do one, 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 one. Why does this always happen to me? When you have to say that you're fine but you're not fine. We'll put one in there. And then two here. Cool. Man having an iron farm is pretty dope. I don't have to worry about things like lanterns anymore, I can just make them willy nilly now. Because we have so much uh, iron at our disposal. Let's take a look. Yeah, I think it looks nice. It kind of blends with the, the oak underneath too. Gotta get some more deep slate and some more lanterns, but I think, I think it's a winning solution here. Um, right then. Let's put some of this stuff away, shall we? Getting a bit heavy here in the bags department. Yeah, we need some more deep slate. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need the, uh, the gold. Don't need the torches. We could do with those because we're going to need to make some more. In fact, we can make them right now. Let's just make as many as we can make. It's all good. And then we can shove the rest in here when we're not going to use them. We don't need these anymore right now. Or those. Or that. Okay. I guess we could put some of the wall back. Because we decided in the end not to use this, didn't we? Alright, um, we can go over to the village now, grab some deep slate. Our diamond pick is already running out, that's pretty sad. We need to trade some wheat. How did you get out? Oh he wasn't, he was just stuck there. Maybe we should breed these up. Didn't do as much trading as I set out to do today, it was more of a little buildy stream but it's been kind of fun. And this was what I mean about the front, but it looks like it is oxidising just very slowly. As I said, I did turn the tick speed up ever so slightly. I believe it's on 10 currently. Spooky says that's a lot of wheat. It sure is a lot of wheat. Spooky. Indeed. It is, my friend. We need more than this, though. We need a, 
uh, a fuck ton, a veritable fuck ton of wheat, basically. For trades. Can't even pick it up. I wonder what the rates are on like a villager wheat uh, automated wheat farm. I've seen people do them before, but I don't know if they have very good uh, rates or not. Come on, man! because there's also all the wheat way at the village yeah there's wheat out there as well we got two wheat farms going but we need so much of it so it's worth having I mean if I have to harvest then at least every time I harvest I get more then it's good so I don't have to spend all my time doing this basically so the bigger the farm the bigger the yield when I do harvest and then we don't have to do it as often, which is good. Oops. Oh, I didn't plant all of them up. Oh, that's fine. We have more in here. Probably too many. Spooky says also since you're at 27 experience levels, hope you get really good enchants. Thank you. I'm probably not going to enchant uh, at all this, this series. I would quite like to just get away with um, just getting my gear through villagers basically. I've already gotten the diamond pick, um, but that was necessary for the obsidian so we're giving that a pass. Um, but the rest of the tools and gear, I would really like them to come from villages. So my levels are just going to basically go into combining things and uh, naming things. Because I think you need levels to combine. Let's say I have this sword and I've got another one with like another enchantment on. I can combine them, right? But I think it costs levels to do that, doesn't it? So as much as I can get away with not enchanting, I'm going to not enchant. I still don't want to die because I think I need my levels for that, right? Or is that wrong? I've never played the game like this before without mining, um, so it might be a little bit strange. Spooky said all of that cost levels, yeah, so I won't be enchanting, um, I'm going to be, yeah, but basically trading gives you a fuck ton of levels anyway, so the villager hall will be like a source, a, a sort of self-fulfilling source of experience as well, um, which is great. Where did that horse wander off to? There he is. Let's take this over, and, uh can trade it up and we can go and find some deep slate to finish off the front of the house the second layer which is almost done and I think it's gonna be rather marvelous <laughs> once all the other layers start going on it it's gonna be inter an interesting build because I really would be interested in doing it completely higgledy piggledy every layer being completely different blocks and style to the last one. I feel like the style was a little bit hard to to change on the upper level of that one. Like the exterior detailing, I had to try very hard to make it different to the way that I'd chosen to detail the first level for instance. Oh that is a big old farm, look at that. Maybe I should set a couple of villagers free free reign on there. Although I don't think you can collect the drops unless you put a hopper minecart underneath and underneath that is all just basically sea 
<laughs> a little river, whatever. It's all water. It's all water. Let's breed those guys up. Listen here, you little shit bag. Where are your parents? Let's trade up this wheat. In fact, let's sleep so no, no more of those stupid little assholes spawn. I really need to light up the whole area. I just haven't done it yet. That's not what we're here for, though. We're here for emeralds. And we have a deep slate. And oh, I need to make it quick because I'm probably going to end stream pretty soon. Okay. It wasn't going to be a massively long one today, sadly, guys. Um... But we will return next week for more funny games in the Minecraft department. So keep your eyes peeled on the disc for that. In fact, I'll put a little. If you are lurking or uh, watching the VOD and enjoying yourself, why not drop a cheeky follow? Because we're here every single week and you can find out exactly when over on the Discord, to which there is a link in the chat right now. Go, go, go! Do the follow, join the disc, woo yeah, streams, woo yeah. Okay, self promo done <laughs> for the day. <laughs> Spooky said they really need to add, uh, oh he says baby zombies are the worst, they literally are the worst. There is actually nothing worse in the game than a baby zombie apart from perhaps a creeper. Um, and Spooky also says... They also really need to add a use to the rotten flesh because my inventory gets so full of them. Yeah, I, I don't disagree. We have a zombie uh, spawner on the world that I have with my boyfriend. And uh, essentially, yeah, we have like two double chests full of rotten flesh right now. I know that you can feed them to dogs. Um, I do know that you can feed them to dogs. But besides that, yeah, I don't really know. Why is there a raw chicken in my inventory? Is that from the, the candle chicken? Rip. I think it was because we gave him a stab earlier at the top of the stairs, so he must have picked up his corpse. Oh, that's kind of sad. Oh well. Yeah, I think you can feed the rotten flesh to dogs, but besides that, there's not very much you can do, I think. Kind of sad. a little bit easier. I'm not sure exactly how much of this we'll need. Spooky says we can also use it to make a potion of poison. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't really do very much brewing. Only when I'm doing a fight, really. I don't really mess around with the potions and the brewing that much. So I don't know much about it. Spooky says I don't think poison potions do damage to enemies. I tried it a long time ago. Oh, that's weird. Maybe they would have need needed to be splash potions of poison then? To do damage? weird though, you'd think wouldn't you that that would hurt an enemy. Potion of poison. Sounds painful to me. Speaker says I think it's spider eye to make Yeah, as I said, I don't do much about it. I know that most of them they use blaze powder, uh, water, nether warts, uh, ghast tears, fucking phantom membranes, like you said, spider eyes as well. Um, what else? Can't really remember. I don't really zoom any more than 
uh, potion of regen, splash potion of healing, and uh, uh, slow falling potions for the the fight. Usually, as Vicky said, then what can we use our rotten flesh for rather than just feeding our dogs? I don't know. Not very much, really. You're right. They do need to add something in there to make it a little bit more viable because it's fucking annoying you do end up with loads even if you don't have a zombie spawn you end up with like several stacks of rotten flesh spooky said is that a dungeon i don't know sounds like it doesn't it <clears throat> pop down and take a little look might just be a cave system I also wish the range for collecting items was a little bit bigger because it's really sad when you're standing on a block and you remove a block and it just falls into lava like that. Fucking sucks dude. Like, I should be able to pick that up, the range shouldn't be that short. Yeah I can hear something this way, you're right. Down, do you think? Because I can hear a fuckload of zombies as well. Like this way. Ooh. They sound close, but like. But where are they? Spooky says, wait I see mossy cobblestone now, did you? Is that a dungeon? I know, rude. Where was the mossy cobble? Oh, is you talking about the tough? This is tough. It's not mossy cobble. Oh, you did, you did, you're right. Yeah. There's mossy cobble right there. Oh, oh shit! You're right! Spooky was right again! Okay. Cool. XP farm. That looks pretty dangerous though, I'm glad there's water there. Um, yeah, we can totally make this into an XP farm next episode then. Gives us something to do, doesn't it? I wonder what's in the chests. Thanks for pointing that out, Spooky. I probably would have not noticed that if it wasn't for you. <gasps> Name tag! We got a name tag! We got another one! We got a music disc! And flame enchantment! Woo! Loop! Woo! Yay for the loop! Woo! Alright, I'm gonna go and empty my pockets and come back. Good find, Spooky. Thank you very much for that one. Appreciate you calling that one out, buddy. Completely up down to you that we found that XP farm right there. Um, and speaking of rotten flesh, I guess we're going to be having a veritable fuck ton uh, anytime soon. <laughs> oh, you're right, we can name the cat. Spooky said, Oh, did they change how the spawner look, or is it the shaders? It's the shaders, I think. And I think I'm going to get a new UI soon. Um, I think I'm gonna try the Luna client and the the, G, the fancy GUI um, upfall over overhaul whatever it's called upscale overhaul whatever because um, there's a couple of cli uh, client resource packs that I quite like the look of for the UI so I kind of want to try those uh, okay we can just dump some of this stuff and then go down and empty those chests and we can name our cat as well um, to Yuki. I don't really want to lose all of this stuff, but I think it's relatively safe to carry, right? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Wandering around in Minecraft caves with a load of stuff that you really care about. I mean, what could go wrong with that? Oh, 
Ooh. MLG shit right there, boys and girls. Right. Um The spawner is here. The loot is here and here. Wonderful. You know, I could probably build a spawner without a tutorial. I feel like I'm, I'm that level of Minecraft now that I could probably do that. You just dig down a few blocks, then you put water in all the corners, and then you dig down a few more blocks, and then you add a little kill chamber. But we'll do that next time, because I, I didn't want to stream too late today, so we can head back to the house. Uh, we can finish off the house really quickly, we'll just finish off the detailings because we're nearly there with that on the second floor. And um, we can name Yuki, and uh, I thought of a name for the cat because the, the other cat, the brown cat that we've got, it looks a little bit like my boyfriend's cat which is called Luna, so we'll call her Luna. And the dog needs a name as well. The doggy needs a name for sure. Um, well, the horse actually. Let's name Yuki and the horse, and then when we get name tags on villagers later, we can name the other animals. Because I would really like the horse to have a name because we use it a lot. Um, what are we gonna call the ho the horse? If you guys have any uh, name suggestions for this lovely young chap here, this horse, then let me know. Otherwise, I'll probably end up calling him something really stupid. Ride like the wind, nameless horse. There's an Andy boy over there. <clears throat> I really ought to build a one of these kill uh, platforms for the Endermen. One of these days. It's because as I love the name Yuki so much. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I do as well. You know, a lot of people in my life were not really feeling it <laughs> when I called when I chose Yuki's name, but I knew I liked it. So that's all that matters, really. I mean, he's a cat, so... I almost called him Spaghetti, to be honest with you. Um, but I thought that he deserved a tad more dignity than that in the end. Uh, do we not have an anvil? Okay, I guess we're going to have to make one. I hope we've got some iron around here. Oh yes, good job. We do. And a uh, bucket can go in there for now. Farm. We have some beet seeds now, which means if we get beetroot trades, then we can trade for beetroot instead of wheat, which is nice. Bit of gunpowder, bit of bones. Can pop the dirt away. That's a valuable, that's a valuable, that's a wheat, which is a farm. Alright, and then we can make some uh, some more slabs and stairs. Yeah, we do need some more stairs as well, so let's get some slabs. Let's get some stairs. And that should more or less be everything that we need to decorate the outside. Uh, let's sleep. Spooky says maybe... I don't know, maybe name the horse with a name for Nino Kuno, like Swain. <laughs> we could do. We could call him Swain. I don't know if I like that name though. It's giving me PTSD to some of those fights. <laughs> Alright, let's get up there first things first. Just add these temporary cobblestone blocks as well, just to make sure that we can get past this a little bit easier. Oh, that's the wrong way up, isn't it? Uh, 
All right, cool. And then we go uh, a little bit further up still, just to get the slabs on this level. And then we still have that side to finish, but we need to add the lanterns first. Oh, well, uh, let's do it from this edge, shall we? Alright, and then we delete these. That should be it. <laughs> Spooky said definitely don't call him Esther. Well, Esther was a little knobhead, so, you know, we're not going to call her Esther. No, I have a cousin called Esther, so it makes me feel really mean saying that. My cousin is lovely. Um, the in-game Esther was not. <laughs> the in-game Esther was a piece of shit. Fucking annoying. Oops. Oh my goodness. Stop! <laughs> Oh yeah, this one was a little bit more finicky, wasn't it? So we were doing one and two, one and two. How are we doing it on the other side? We were kind of just winging it, weren't we? Oh, wrong way up. Kind of like this. Yeah, and then we had a three in the middle. And we can go up, slab it off. So let's get our slabs out just like that. Delete this one. Speaker says, Oh my gosh, literally me as well when placing blocks, but getting them upside down by accident. It's annoying. <laughs> Almost finished this part of the build, which makes me very happy to be able to tell you guys. Boop, 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 and boop, and a boop, and a boop. No, okay, that should be done. And then we can take these out, and hopefully, we have a finished, detailed exterior layer 2 which feels really good and I think next layer we can add some weird little offshoots from the side of the building so maybe have something that comes out here ooh like a weird little creepy little tower or something ooh just want some strange shapes to start appearing it's one of the reasons why I added this on the left here is I just want it to really be freaky and really really stand out really look weird um I do wish that those blocks had oxidized uh, so let's have a little look at it from another angle, perhaps this one. Yeah, it's going to look nice. It looks cool with this one where it's kind of like grown along. Um, but I think that will about do it for today, ladies and gents. So if you did happen to join me today, I uh, very much appreciate you being here. It's been fun, fun little short stream. My spooky says no like when my character places blocks where I don't want to place oh right yeah <laughs> when you accidentally place them on the wrong bit it's really irritating um but yeah as I was saying thank you so much for joining me guys appreciate you being here uh, it's been a fun little stream if you are lurking or watching the VOD later and you haven't already any fancy it do consider chucking a cheeky follow we'd love to have you here in the community and uh, I stream usually once a week so that having been said, I'll see you all probably Tuesday. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend, guys, and I shall see you later.